What are my values? This is an important question to ask yourself. Crike, Lowe and Brown note that nearly all modern conceptions of leadership have a values or moral based orientation. Avolio himself reported that transformational leadership is fundamentally morally uplifting, while a study of contemporary leadership theories by Turner and his colleagues identified that transformational leadership and theories derived from it, such as authentic, visionary, servant and charismatic leadership, can be characterised, if not in fact driven, by a moral value system. Kuzas and Posner noted that we admire most those who believe strongly in something and who are willing to stand up for those beliefs. They argue that the people we are most willing to follow are those with principles. Turner and his colleagues confirmed this position in the study of transformational leaders. They reported that leaders with more complex moral reasoning are more likely to value goals that go beyond self-interest and to foresee the benefits of actions that serve the collective good. Moreover, a leader with higher moral reasoning can conceive and enact a wider range of behaviours that can go beyond self-interest. But we are getting a little ahead of ourselves here, since these behaviours are the outcome of having a set of values, as well as an understanding of those values and a commitment to them, particularly in the face of manifest challenges. As Kyle stated, values set the boundaries, agreements, commitments and frameworks for being and working with others. It is important for a leader to recognise and understand their values, what they stand for, what they believe is right and wrong. Of course, no two people have identical values, since values are derived from our lived experiences and are developed through childhood and learning in school and are tempered throughout our lives. Values guide actions and hence leaders need to not only define and communicate the values they stand for, but need to define them behaviourally so that followers can see how these values should be enacted in the organisation. There are strong links between a leader's manifest values and the organisational commitment of followers. For example, Posner and Schmidt found that the highest level of follower commitment belonged to those followers who had the greatest understanding and alignment towards the values of their leader and the organisation. It is therefore the leader's role to provide clarity around values as well as ways to enact them within the organisation. The leader's role is to make it absolutely clear what is important in the organisation, what its direction and goals are, where it has come from, where it is now and where it is going. It needs to be clear how your values as a leader fit within the values of the organisation and by extension what is expected of your followers. Leaders provide the value framework within which followers move towards the shared goal. However, while leadership is about future direction, it is also about history. Of course, values are not just embedded in the leader or the followers, they are also embedded in systems. Organisations in society have traditions, cultures or value systems that are worthy of preservation. The past may contain value sets that the leader should not violate. The past provides context as to where people are now in relation to that shared past. Followers need to understand the past, the present and the future if they are to know what action to take and how they should change. Therefore, leaders do more than provide a future vision. They impose context in order to give people a direction to take, show individuals what the key goals are, and to make sure people always have a sense of proportion. Giving your followers the full picture allows them to distinguish between what actions are important and those that are not. It empowers your followers to succeed in reaching the goal. Value statements often accompany vision statements in organisations. While these can be helpful as a reminder of what values are important, they must be fit for the purpose of providing a framework that we agree to abide by in pursuit of the vision. The leader needs to be careful that their meaning is clear and the values are not just throwaway lines. The value statement must be broad enough to be meaningful to every function within the organisation. A single word or phrase used to communicate a value is generally not enough to achieve this criterion. Values create the tangible and intangible links within an organisation by representing the social agreements we make consciously or unconsciously within a societal unit. They set the boundaries and provide a context for safety and security in interactions with people. David Kyle suggested that value statements need to be practical enough to provide four things. Boundaries for action, what we permit to happen or not to happen. Agreements for performance, how will we go about interacting with each other? 
commitments to organisational and personal growth, promises of what we will do as well as what we will not do in pursuit of growth, and frameworks to create context, the conditions we will set for being and working together. Kyle further suggests that successful value statements can be assessed by positively answering the following questions. Can leaders teach them practically, clearly and easily to all followers? Can they solve problems or dilemmas? Can they be used to coach and develop followers? Can people outside of the organisation clearly understand the fundamentals of the organisation's strategy and culture when they read these statements? It is important for leaders to understand their values, though they also need to understand the values of their followers, as well as those embedded already in the organisation and more broadly by the society in which they operate. This enables the leader to decide which values need to shift and how to align and embed these values.